Hello, I'm Matt Russell and I would like to welcome you to the channel. In this video I am going to show you how we break down plywood for our lasers with our Legacy Maverick CNC router with a vacuum table. The plywood we will be breaking down today is Home Depot 1 8 inch 4 foot by 8 foot utility panels with an actual dimension of 106 thousandths by 48 by 96 and Lowe's Revolution Ply 5 millimeter 4 foot by 8 foot poplar sanded plywood which is actual dimension of 190 thousandths by 4 foot by 8 foot. I have two stop blocks that I machined to give me a reference on the left side of the vacuum table. The one on the far end is L-shaped for reference in the X and Y plane. I am normally working alone in our woodworking part of our shop while my wife is working in her laser she shed shop so having the stop blocks makes it quicker and easier for me to position the plywood by myself. The first sheet is from Home Depot. As you can see it wasn't very flat. I have the program set to cut at 180 inches per minute and 16,000 RPM with a 1 8 inch compression bit. It takes 36 seconds for the machine to touch the bit off and then 1 minute and 42 seconds to cut the sheet into 10 parts. I have it set up to cut 5 pieces 19 and an eighth by 27 and a half and 5 pieces to 19 and an eighth by 20 and 3 eighths. That gives Melanie five pieces that fit the actual cutting area of her CO2 laser and five short pieces that she can use for smaller projects. The second sheet is from Lowe's and takes the same amount of time to cut as the bit cuts the thicker material at this speed as well.
As a note, sometimes when I get materials from Home Depot and Lowe's, it is not exactly 48 inches wide. In fact, sometimes it's 48 and an eighth inches wide. If you notice the stop blocks, they are marked because I have one set for 48 and another set for 48 and one eighth. The stop blocks are just friction fit on the half inch dowels and can be relatively easily removed. I like to keep the fit tight on the dowels because I like to keep things precise. If you have a stubborn dowel, use a trigger clamp because it will remove the dowel undamaged, unlike when using pliers. This is one of the first stop blocks I cut for the machine. Unfortunately, a few weeks ago I forgot to shut my machine off at the switch before I shut the breaker off and lost the original origin point. When I created a new origin point, I had my surfacing a bit in, so I decided to set the offset up so I wouldn't have to change the origin point to surface the spoil board, which is why the corner is not relieved in the correct spot on the stop block for the corner of the plywood. If you have a question or a suggestion for a future video, please comment. If this video has earned your like, please hit the button. If this video may be useful to a friend, please share. I hope you have a wonderful day and remember, if you do the right thing, you don't have to worry about being wrong.